Mike Ganter along with Steve Simmons at the ACC. The Raptors season is over. Eliminated in a bit of a one-sided game, Steve, uh, but really not totally surprising considering what they were up against. No, what was surprising, I think, was game three and four here yeah. where the Raptors uh, beat the Cleveland Cavaliers and quite surprised, I think, the basketball public, but surprised maybe themselves as well. From the end of game four to through five and six, it was never in question who was going to win. LeBron James, you know, one, two, the best player in the world, uh, took over the series, and and from that moment on, it was like bye bye Raptors. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, LeBron had Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love alongside. All three of those guys tonight were key. Uh, the Raptors tonight basically had DeMar DeRozan, 20 points, Kyle Lowry, 33 points, and not much else beyond that. They what they're lacking right now is that third scoring option. Um, yes, JV was hurt. Maybe he becomes it, but right now it's it's just it's not there. And until they're, they'll eventually get to that point where they can compete with these guys. But you, you just can't compete with Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, and LeBron James. Right well, now. bring LeBron in. This is the sixth time in a row that LeBron James is going to the NBA Finals. Four times with Miami, now twice with Cleveland. The cast around him changes. He doesn't change per se, other than to change his game from night to night. But what he does and how he makes it, they have the big three with one of the great players of all time. The Raptors have a big two without one of the best players of all time, and that makes a huge difference. I just want to reference fans and, yeah. and the Toronto fans in this building for a moment because with about two, two and a half minutes to go, everybody stood on their feet here at the Air Canada Centre, and they just kept cheering it and yelling, let's go Raptors, and it was like they didn't want this season to end. And you have to take tip your hat, as LeBron James has done, as Tyron Lue has done, to the fans of Toronto and to Raptor fans, because they are an unbelievable spirited bunch. No, they were with them right to the very end. So lockout clean up, locker cleanouts tomorrow. We'll be talking to the players. Um, I don't think we'll be talking to Masai Ujiri, the GM, until at least Monday. There's a few more days of uh, Raptors coverage coming up. For Steve Simmons, I'm Mike Ganter for Post Media.